I'm, I'm, when I was in uh, elementary school, I got in trouble because I used to shit naked. <laughs> yeah. What a good segue, dude! I'm telling you, man, I did. Fucking, I mean, <laughs> I'm serious. I'm dead serious. But like, literally, the first like maybe ten years of my life, I shit naked. Like, anytime I take a shit, I had to take all my clothes off. <laughs> and I did it oh at school God. too. And I remember one time oh, I was shit. I was in the stall and I was just doing what I do. I took my clothes <laughs> off. I was in the stall shitting, and some teacher came in there. She goes, she like, and she just saw like some kid with his clothes. On the floor. Yeah. She goes, Are you okay? And I was like, Yeah, I'm all right. And she just goes, She just goes, Are you sure? And she goes, What are you doing? I was like, I'm, I'm just pooping. I was like, a little, I was like in like third grade or something. <laughs> so I did that at home too. Oh I just God. shit naked everywhere. <laughs> that is the best thing ever. That teacher probably thought you were like autistic. No, or dude, something. I, dude, like I was fucking stupid when I was a kid. No, dude, no, I'm telling you, no, fucking, no. I. One time when I had again elementary school, and you know when you're a kid, you like play with toys and shit. I play with toys. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I'd have stuff in the bathtub too. I had a little GI Joe scuba helmet, oh, God. and you know how you can suck a uh, cup onto your yeah. mouth and leave it yeah. there. I, it was a little GI Joe thing, so I did it like this, <laughs> and I sucked it in the bathtub on the here, and I left it on there so much or so long that I had a purple ring around my mouth for like a week, and I had to go to school, <laughs> and that not dude, that's not the best part. I'm so stupid that I did oh it two weeks God. later again. I did it two times. <laughs> My mom thought I was fucking stupid as shit. I can't believe you never got tested, dude. <laughs> I was on the spectrum, dude. <laughs> I had to be. Me and my cousin Tyler oh got in trouble God. because we watched Action League Now and we flushed oh, uh, stuff show. down the toilet because it's yeah, stinky diver. Stinky diver. Oh man. We, we flushed the Kool Aid squeezy bottles down the fucking toilet, <laughs> and I'll never forget. We got. I was. I had to sit there while they while they fucking pulled the toilet off the fucking. Board, and they were, and they had to reach into the fucking ground, and they were just like each thing they pulled out. They're like, fucking, like I thought I was gonna hit this shit. We had an old playhouse when I'm I was a kid. Dying, right we now. had an old uh, little like tiny playhouse oh, yeah. when we were really little. Me and my cousin Tyler, and there was a little like you know how wood has holes in it. There was a little hole in the back. We used to put our our, our wieners through the hole, and we used to pee out the back of the fucking out the back of the fucking thing all the fucking time. <laughs> Dude, we were on the spectrum, dude. It was awesome. We got in trouble one time. <laughs> we got in trouble one time because uh, and this is when we were like really, really little though, like maybe four or five, and we used to piss in my toy box, <laughs> like just because we were too lazy to go. To, like it wasn't even like for like any reason. We were just little boy, little retarded boys, and we fucking we would just sit there and just fucking. <laughs> we were big on the piss. <laughs> I'm fucking dying, dude. Oh, I'm dude, that's awesome. Out, oh, my God. It's great. That is, yeah, I definitely was on the spectrum. These are some of the greatest fucking things I think I've ever heard in my life. It's just a few things. It's so oh many retarded things. Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> <laughs> fucking need to stick your dick through the wood hole. Yeah, just a little, little kid. Dude, I, honestly, dude, when we did that, we had to be maybe one or two years older than how Alice is now. Like, just oh, ma like maybe... Shit. Maybe four or five. Oh my god! And we would just be in the play, the oh playhouse, and we'd just go, all right. And, just, and then my mom, my mom said, I asked her years later. I was like, how'd you know we were doing it? She's like, because I'd be out there and we'd just see a little stream of pee coming out the back of the out of the playhouse. <laughs> it was fantastic. Oh my god, dude! I can't feel my face. You gonna be all right? Dumb. I'm fucking dying over here, man. Dude, it was great. Holy shit! I love shit. that, dude. Oh my God! Yeah, I can't my mom believe thought I'm just I, now hearing about this. My mom thought my uh, that I like I was just randomly bleeding out my nose one time when I was a kid. It turned out I just <laughs> stuffed a bunch of red M and M's in my nose and it <laughs> melted. They were melted. What the fuck were you doing? As I a don't kid? know, dude. I was fucking, dude. I was fucking. I'm cooler than the other man. side of the pillow. Fucking survival of the fittest. You made it. Well, I wouldn't say fittest. You made it though. I mean, would you call there, this fittest? Oh uh, no, I'm just saying. There's a lot of people who would do exactly what you did, not make it, and no. you fucking made it at the other end. Well, you stuffed red M and M's up your nose and let them melt up there. Yeah. <laughs> what? I can't. Do, I'm about to fucking pass out, bro. You're right. No, I'm fucking dying laughing over yeah. here. I'm fucking right. dying laughing. I mean, 
There's it there's nowhere but down from here now. What do you after I mean, pissing in I mean, the toy uh, box, uh, dude? I don't. I still to this day don't know why we did that. Like like it wasn't for a specific reason. We were just just dumb little kids. We're like, hey, let's do this, and then we got fucking bitched at for it. I did. It was worth it though. Just for yeah. this moment, at least, it was completely worth it. We put You're my mom shit? on the live stream. Yeah. Hello? Huh? What are you doing? I'm just hanging out. You turn? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry, last time I called you, I had an echo. Did you hear it from the client? Yeah. Yeah, everything you said, it was like, no, no. Stop. So I was like, okay. Yeah. Um, you have me that we're going to want to next weekend. We're not, you don't have to come, but if you can, Ashley's doing it. I'm not. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I know you heard me not. And Danny's work just called. We've got to go to the people that I'm going to go with him tomorrow to the hospital. I don't even know where it is. I'm going to be honest with you. He told me I cannot tell you. Mm. Just where I'm Wasn't going to. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you know any singer that they can't do? No, no. You don't? No, they're closed. Huh? I said, especially with the rain, I love that rain you guys got in the COVID. Yeah. Mom. yeah. Uh, can you think of anything that you go do? What do you want to do? Not that much. Hmm? What's your birthday? June 14th. Mm. Somewhere else, probably. Probably. Yeah, probably. Okay. Love you too. Bye. We don't sound anything what? alike. How did she think that was you? Why did you? Like, fuck. I'll be honest. I couldn't hear what she said. I just said, I yeah. She's just like, you want us to come down? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can't even shoot me. You're like, what do you want next? <laughs> what the fuck? You can call her back and be like, oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to call her back here. Mom. <laughs> no. <laughs> that doesn't make me a bad son, does it? Because this isn't set up at all. But Edward Delacroix. There's a, uh, so I wrote down one of the things we could try to do this week was I would hey, say boss. movie quotes, and you would try to guess the movie. Okay. And one of them was fucking Green Mile. Okay, Mr. Politically Correct. It has nothing to do with being politically correct. It has to do with saying the I'm right name. I'm so happy he spelled Mr. Politically Jangles. Correct. He did. He did. Like, I, I, I saw excited. what you did there. What'd I do? He spelled politically correct. Correct. Jesus, we're so fucking cool, man. Do you want to see your gift? Yeah. So this isn't going to make a lot of oh, sense. Oh, shit. Skin <laughs> whip. Fuck. Should have got that shirt. Pussy. Shut up. But Pussy. if you haven't watched the first two Pussy. weeks, this isn't going to make a lot of sense to you. But I got Fatty a gift, and it's not fast food. You're gonna probably going to have to was, get up to show the camera. All right, I'll stand up. You can see my awesome fucking masked torso. All right. I'll do a play-by-play. Yeah, play. He's opening. It's not actually Sonic. I just had that today. It's a fucking show okay. the camera. All right. I'm so excited. Okay. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. Let's see where this is at. You fucking piece of shit. I love it. You fucking goddamn oh, son of man. a bitch. That's actually awesome. Yeah. <laughs> but 
You fucking piece of shit. Yeah. So the first two episodes of this. Dylan, we were we got on the subject of the movie The Sandlot about those kids that played baseball in that old lot, and I said, and we got on the I thing, the it. subject of who, what characters we would be, and he without a without missing a beat goes, you'd probably be the you know the 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 catcher, and if anybody hasn't seen that, that's the fucking fat kid. <laughs> I was like, why? Man, come here. If right you do a Halloween episode it. of this, you have to fucking get a jean jacket and like do your hair like Johnny from The wow. Outsiders. Dude, we got Johnny from The Outsiders. He's not dead. Who are you going to be? From that movie? It doesn't have to. No, it, doesn't, it can be whatever. It's Halloween. Be whatever you want to be. Who do you think I would be? I want to know your answer. I'm not going to. No, I'm Tell not me. falling into this trap. Come on. Who would I, feel I be? Like, you know the fucking. Who uh, would I be? The scientist from Jurassic Park who dies by the lizard. The one that was taking the shit? Or are, you, or are you talking about the guy with the shotgun that goes, clever girl? No, which one was it? It was the one with the computer. He's the one oh, from the yeah. sitcom. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, 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 another fat guy. Hey, <laughs> what do you know? What? You would play him really well. What? Old is he? Oh, I could take oh, him I could on. Fucking destroy <laughs> I could take him, him on. Destroy him. Actually, this is a good I question. We can, him this up. is a really like old question that everyone's asked, yeah. but we haven't talked about it here. It'd be funny if how I many like how many five year olds could you take on before you die? If they were all how there big? to kill you, like how how much weight? Average you five, like whatever. You go to a fucking elementary school. It's just they're all different. Five year olds. Uh, they're all different. But are they all attacking me at once? Or are they in yeah. like a because if they're like lining up and I'm no, doing no, no, one on ones, no, I can no. go all fucking day. No. Almost like <laughs> a, almost, almost like a zombie day. horde. Uh, I don't know, dude. It depends, man. Because there's some fucking kids in the bunch that they got some fucking genetics. I mean, yeah, but at the same time, it's still like a five year old can't be, but so big. You know how many goddamn five year olds I would just drop in one <laughs> shot before I went <laughs> down though? Yeah, that's the thing. A kick. So basically, it's like in the zombie Ow. movie when like the the guy sacrifices himself and he just goes, "I'm fucking just taking as many out as I can before they get me." Yeah, that's yeah, it. That's oh, you. dude. Uh, do no, I get do I get like a good warm up and like I'm ready to go? No, no. This I... is a fucking immediate. Oh, okay. Like this is what well, this is a scenario. You fall asleep in your room, I probably, but someone comes in here and drugs you, drugs and then puts me. you in the middle of like the cafeteria so of an sure elementary school. Dude. Yeah, well, it's I'm a couple fucking... dudes. Oh, okay, what's is that a fact? And then you wake up and you're like, "Where the fuck am I?" And <laughs> <laughs> then all of a sudden, just five year olds come pouring in, and then like dude. a projector screen comes down. And it's like you're fucked. Survive. What is it like, fucking Saul? Yeah, <laughs> you were surrounded by armed five-year-olds. Your whole life, you've been afraid of been kindergartners. By, yeah. <laughs> Your whole life, you have taken it <laughs> with some dumb shit oh, that that dude said. Oh, dude, I'm thinking about it. Uh, oh shit, dude, it just depends, man. I'm thinking hundreds. But you I think, can at least but do hundreds. I'm thinking about it like this: if I annihilate a few of them, some of them are gonna get scared and run away. So do those count? The so? ones that run away? I don't. I don't know if they. In your this is your hypothetical. I'm thinking scenario. solid. For whatever reason, they've been told beforehand, once they defeat you, they get unlimited nap time and unlimited recess time whenever they want. But they're they're 12, though. I don't think they give a shit. They're five about years old. Five years oh, five-year-olds, dude. Fucking yeah. 250. Yeah, I'm with you. It's hundreds, at least. Actually, wait. Five-year-olds? Oh, dude. I, I could go all day until they just like, all right, dude, we're running yeah, out, no, out of five-year-olds. 12-year-olds is a little different because yeah. you got some prepubescent fucks in there that are like 6'2", yeah. like... Yeah, you're gonna have like some kid like, some like their dad or something was like a former yeah. football player or something. Yeah. And like he's Get out there, some, some kid that comes out there, he's like six foot one. Yeah. And he's fucking twelve, six foot one. What's up, dude? <laughs> That's the boss of that wave. Like you hit wave six oh, of shit, kids dude. and that kid comes it's out. It's like fucking uh Gears of War horse. He mode. starts throwing eighty <laughs> oh, mile per hour fucking fastballs dude. at Oh yeah, dude. Fuck. But if we're just talking about five year olds, I can go all day. No, yeah, five year olds. Told you, dude, yeah. they're gonna come out and be like, dude, we're running out of five year olds. You gotta fucking wrap it up, dude. I'm just saying. It's like in zombies when you get uh, when people would get to that wave where like you just you're not losing and you're just like, all right, dude, we're getting bored. We gotta go to sleep, so you just lose the round to end it. That's how. It That's would how be far you're me. gonna make it. Yeah. So at one point you're gonna cripple a kid, shoot out its legs, so dude, it has to crawl I'm at you. I'm telling you, dude. And you just kind of walk around. One goddamn shot, man. You know how many of them fucking little fuckers would be catching knees? A lot. Yeah, that's right the whole in the point. goddamn head. Basically, all of your arsenal is at use. I'm, I'm not even gonna be grappling, dude. I'm just, I'm just gonna be fucking throwing yeah. goddamn fucking limbs at these little fucks. I was thinking in my head, like realistically, at least a hundred, because I don't know how fast I get tired out because I don't have good cardio right now. 
Yeah, you're not really known for your cardio. Why do you keep... What the fuck? <laughs> it just ends. Oh, God. <laughs> he said, fuck God. <laughs> Watch, I gotta restart it. Listen, he goes, fuck okay. God. Watch, Hold on. watch, watch. watch. <laughs> fuck God. <laughs> Story time. Uh, I think we were either going to the mall or somewhere around the mall because we were just in that area. Yeah. Uh, you just, you just I'm trying because I think already? it was, I think it was like, no, because I think it was like in the fall because all the windows were up. Yeah. And you farted, it, you know, because you told me you're like, I've got a shit. We've got to go somewhere. Oh, no, that was the fucking, no, no, wait. That was the time, I don't think you puked. That was when we were outside of uh, the mall, like where GameStop is on that main road. Yeah. And I had, and it was one of the, I was farting and they were bad farts. It was like those pre-shit farts where it's yeah. like, it's like, and a shit came all over me, and I was like, "This is one of those shits you couldn't hold." It was like my body basically told me, "Dude, you got about five minutes, and this shit's coming out." And I looked at Dylan, and I, and I was like, "Dude, I really like we, we got to go." Like, and he ended up driving into the mall parking lot, and I went in the mall and shit, and then we left. Like, we just went there so I could shit. But I remember I'm we were outside, sure. we were in that main road, and I remember I let a nice one off, like a ripe ass one. Yeah, and I, I remember. remember you looked at me and you were so fucking mad you're like you actually said you and your dad cleaned the fucking car seats after like later that day you said dude we fucking scrubbed the seats clean dude that was it was fucking oh i bumped terrible. the table shit it's contagious the quote i heard one time what about that dude oh there's a dude who's he makes I'm videos drunk, of dude. himself and his chicken. fetish is like diving into like sewers and shit oh i think i've seen a video that yeah guy. that's fucking like that that's, that's a tough weird. guy yeah, that, I, that I dude, legitimately that dude, that had to close a lot. I had to close was. the video. Like I was fine with it until he started going like this and rubbing it in his face. Damn. That's when I started gagging. I, I was just like, don't I'm know how that guy doesn't get like a disease or something. Oh, he does. He, he, he you think he just he like, oh, yeah, tools of the trade, man. <laughs> yeah, it's, just got to deal with it. Yeah, it's like being a carpenter. Occupational hazard. Yeah, you like you know you cut your finger, shit happens. <laughs> if you dive in shit, you're gonna get yeah. sick. You're gonna get fucking sick. That's, so that guy's an dude, exception to my quote. When it comes to poop, there are no tough guys except for that dude. That is a tough guy. That dude probably heard that quote and goes, you know what? Fuck this dude. I'm going to show him. Here's, does he jack off That dude's in, like the Aquaman the of shit. Tank. Oh, my God. Like, he's useless, but you get him oh in a pile God. of shit, and he's just like, oh, got fucking superpowers. fuck with me now, well, dude. that's the thing. That's also his kryptonite because he starts jerking him, off. Is that poison damage? Yes. Like of if, course like it if is. Like, if he fucking hit you with an yeah. elbow. Damn, covered in shit. I wouldn't want to fight him, even no, if I could fuck him uh, up. He hits, Unless I could just one hit quit, just like fucking. Then you got shit on your yeah. hands. Yeah. Someone, they, someone else's shit. Occupational hazard. Someone else's shit on your hands. <clears throat> well, it's not his shit either. Yeah, it's the other fucked up part. It's, we don't know. Yeah, who but shit you know what is. would be really bad for that guy is if, mm. like, he finally met his match, like somebody who did, also didn't give a shit about shit. And he's like, "Well, we're fighting now, dude." And he's like, "Damn it, I've been going my whole life." People not, he's like that. You know what couple. it was? That's probably where that came from. Thinking about psychology, he probably like he uh, <laughs> he got <laughs> he was getting beat up as a kid. And he's yeah. like, you know what, dude? Fucking, if I cover myself in shit, like he no started shit in his pants. Me. He's like, nobody wants to fight somebody with a pile of shit in their pants. It's like that's the thing too. If I knew someone, so I've never school, wanted to fight a baby because they have shit in yeah. their pants. I'm like, I'm not trying to get there. That's the only reason you don't fight babies. One of the bigger reasons. It's one of the, the the biggest reason. Yeah. Okay. I mean, not it's because, not the only one, but I, it's a pretty big one. Not because they're just, you know, babies and they can't fight back. They're innocent. Depends on the baby, I guess. Hey, well. Just a little bit. Like this. <laughs> I can't wait point. until we get to <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, just, okay. All right. So next. <laughs> next up. This he is, gets imprisoned. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he lived a pretty crazy life. I, don't, I just the second paragraph. Datsik reportedly had obsessive anti-Semitic and anti-Christian oh, yeah. views. Yeah. While he's Slavic paganism. Slavic paganism. <laughs> yeah, he went. He went off the deep end. The official expert analysis on his mental sanity asserted that he claimed Jesus Christ was a Mossad agent. <laughs> <laughs> This it's is a real he person. suffered from schizophrenia. No shit. Yeah, that's, right. that's what I said when I read it. Like, what the fuck? 
What else would that be? A Mossad agent? Faith, that's All an right. Asian agent. So after that, he escapes. Yeah, he, he escaped. You no, know, he escaped a mental hospital, I think. <laughs> <laughs> this is... This is a real person, by the way. Holy shit. They need shit. to make a movie about this guy. Oh, man. <laughs> <Or a> documentary. <laughs> they do. They really do. Got Tiger King ain't got shit Okay, on hold on. Because I need to read. <laughs> yeah. <All right. laughs> We're going to need to start it. Let's just I say, mean, anyway, that sick just also go. claims that he was tortured by Russian authorities. The torture included the application of electrodes to his genitals and placing him <laughs> in an iron cage for eight months naked and handcuffed. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's a spinoff show of Naked and Afraid. Yeah. Naked of handcuffed with electrodes. Yeah, he narrates the show. <laughs> okay, then after that, he gets released. Uh, after being in prison for nine years, <laughs> apart from a one-month stint of freedom, uh, <laughs> the next bullet point, he did some brothel raids. Oh, yeah, yeah. He did some vigilante raids on brothels, it says. Yeah, I actually... Uh, it was like I think he did some of these like after he escaped too. Like he escaped and just Holy this shit. is some of the shit he did after he escaped. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I just wanted you to like <laughs> read some of the bullet points of this because when I was looking up fighter names, I completely forgot about this <laughs> yeah. guy. I forgot like how much of a meme this dude became. But yeah, like I just okay. I just kind of wanted to get the. Uh, <laughs> so after all, just real quick, after brothel raids, he tried to get into politics. Where he was at one time involved in political activities as a member of a now banned nationalist Russian party, which no one's yeah, surprised real quick, that he's a part of the banned way, party. I don't know if it's going to be on here, but there was another thing I read where, like, the party that he was in, they no longer like saying that they were associated with. Like, <laughs> they actually said, like, "Do you know how fucking crazy you got to be to fucking Russian Nazis don't want anything to do with you?" No, even fucking Republicans still like Trump, dude. Yeah. You know you've lived a fucked up life. Yeah, dude. Fucking if Russians are like, well, okay, hold on. Yeah, but not, and then the. The best part after all that, it just says he kind of like right there. He just he's, he's, he's settled down. He's children. a father of two children. He's in a relationship. Someone and now named he's fucking Ufon. chilling. Number three. Hitler's alligators die in what? Moscow Zoo at age of eighty-four. Wait a minute. His al- he had alligators. Apparently, yeah. Like his. How do they know those were his alligators? They probably kept track. Shit, what do they think? They, he's fucking created some Nazi alligators? <laughs> they probably had the swastika armbands on him this whole time. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> what you know? if it's just a really racist uh, alligator? Yeah, that's all like, yeah. If I can trust This alligator really hates Jews. <laughs> yeah. How do you test that? Do they bite Jewish people harder? <laughs> just put a group, like different groups of religious people in front of alligators, whichever one it tries to yeah, kill it first. Just turns around. This one's anti Semitic. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's move on. For I want to go to, I'm gonna go to uh, college to become a professor of that. How to test if animals are racist? Do you think? Oh, they have to have that by now. If not, we. Yeah, can. I am that. I told you. I guess, yes, I did. You're already okay. Yeah, I am. I have a PhD in that. I really. We, that's what. We'll, that'll be our first set piece. Your PhD. Yeah. Animal racist science. What do you think the uh, the name of that uh, profession is, or uh, that study? You know how they have like entomology. Yeah. What what ology would that be? Oh man, I don't know. That's a good one. So I'm trying to combine like two words at once, and it's not working out. I have a feeble brain. Come on, you can do it. I believe. Uh, animal raciology. Okay. That's what if that gets confused with like how fast animals are though? I don't think. Dude, you know who has the greatest job in the world? The fucking cameraman of this show. Yeah, I was about to say the same thing. They might have kind of back problems, though, because they're probably constantly like having to lean over like this. Oh, my time. God. that How does that guy look so bad that he looks more off-putting than the fucking group of minutes, midgets watch? Oh, shit. Look at that guy. Oh, my God. That guy almost has, like, no neck. No. His chin's almost welded to his neck. Dude, you, oh my god, he looks like the... Have you ever seen the Not that old fiance. horror movie no. with the puppets? No. Well, Fuck, dude, dude there's about. a puppet. It's like a little one with a bullet head, and he's like really buff. <laughs> and that guy's shaped just like that thing. Know what you're talking about. God, what's the name of that fucking <laughs> puppet, man? It was like Puppet Master. Hang on one second. I don't know the name of the character, but I... Oh, there's no R in that. 
Oh, oh no. Oh god, I hit V. Help. Vcom. No. I think it was Puppet Master. Yeah, I don't think I've ever heard of this. The Littlest Reich? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Hold on. Hang on, wait a minute. Oh, what? I gotta find him. Yeah, I've never heard of this. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. That one in the back. Okay, he does kind of look like it. <laughs> it does look like it. It fucking God it kind of looks it. like a cone You've never seen those movies? Hell no. It was a horror movie, but they were like little puppets no, and they came to life and killed the people. Really? You never, no. There was like 80 of them. This is like the main one. That one freaked me out as a kid. Yeah, I can tell. It freaked me out a little bit too. No, to fucking go back to the scroll up real quick. Hang on. And just erase puppets real quick. You don't have to type anything else in. The uh, fuck is this what? about? What <laughs> the fuck is this about? The littlest right. Mm. The craziest movie of From the producers of Bone Tomahawk and the Meg. <laughs> What the fuck is this? Puppet Master, the Littlest Reich. I don't... Dude, what the fuck is this? I, I kind of like this, kids. Okay. I'm I now on to the... All right, so let's just see what this is. This kid, I love y'all niggas. I get it for the nookie. I got that box, you know what I'm saying? What the fuck was that? Okay. Chicken Little's doing pretty bad right now. <laughs> That's <was> fucked up. <laughs> Fucking Zach Braff is doing anything you can for money. <laughs> oh.